the beach. Just another work weekend around here. I'm just chilling with Peach right now. Here he is. Gonna go to work in a little bit. Decided not to wash my hair because the dry shampoo is doing a great job. Yeah, gonna be working downtown near USC. Meh. Surrendering over my freedom and going to work. Just the way it is. Crazy packed. There's some huge game going on with Texas and USC. I guess Texas won in 2006, so it's kind of a big deal for the SC crew. I could care less, but go Trojans! That shit was crazy. By the time I get home, I'm gonna have like one hour before I have to be at my next one. Alright, well, I'm all dressed up with somewhere to go. I'm supposed to go to work, but I have like 13 minutes till I really need to leave, so what the fuck do I do with that time? It's not mine anymore, really. <sighs> Whatever. The nature of my job. It's sporadic. Could be worse. So good this pimple. I finally popped it last night and now it's a scab and I just didn't want to put that much makeup on it. So I'm rocking it. Rocking it. For a while I didn't have the Facebook app on my phone because I would just like, oh, notification, check it. And then they made you get the separate messenger app and I was like, that's annoying. So I deleted it. And I did that for a while and it was awesome. I was like never looking at Facebook. I still never really look at Facebook. But then I started needing it because I would be coordinating shoots with people on there and stuff and I was communicating with them through Messenger, I didn't necessarily want to give them my phone number. So I re-downloaded it and now I just like check notifications on my phone way too often. Like Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Marco Polo. <laughs> Do you guys know that one? Oh, it's fun for a while. Anyway, I just want to delete them all again because looking at those notifications also sucks my time away. I mean, what else am I supposed to do with these awkward 13 minutes, but I don't really want to do that. Keep checking notifications. What's going on? Like, who fucking cares? I want to just be more present. But it's hard to, it's harder to be present uh, when you're alone. Although I find it hard to be present sometimes with other people too. Whatever. So that what this is what I'm doing with my 13 extra minutes overthinking shit. Good. Good one. So after that 21 hour blackout that we had like a week or two ago, I got this. A mag light, baby. Not only do these things uh shine light, you can hit somebody over the head with them pretty hard and then hopefully run away if they break into your house. Oh. So lovely in here right now. I hate to go, but I must. Ciao, home. Well, it only took me 15 minutes, but I found a place to park. Well, that was easy peas. Now I'm at Panda Express. Oh. I really hope my fortune comes true. not focusing. My life needs to focus on it as well. No. It's not. It's not. 
it's not. Okay. New challenges and adventures await. Await what? What are they awaiting? Me? Are they simply awaiting? And you have to figure out what it is? And how to get it? <laughs> like a video game? Anyway. I'm on the other side of the bed. It's nice over here. I've got a second picture of Marilyn Monroe in my bedroom. It's like, I'm not even that into Marilyn Monroe. I mean, she's awesome. And I am somewhat into her. But I'm not, like, super obsessed with her. But the only art... Yeah, the only art hanging on my walls in my bedroom are pictures of Marilyn Monroe. Look at this. This one I haven't even gotten framed. It's a good pick, but it just happens to be the only poster that I had. And then Dylan got me this awesome one over here. I love this one. And that one I really like. And then this one is still just up. But I was trying to buy some other art for my bedroom, and I went on that website, Society6, and like... What a cool graphic design. It's not really like art. Right? Some of it is. But none of it was quite what I wanted to hang on my wall. I want like a triptych. Above my bed. Something dope. Something original. Oh wow. It's 3 a.m. And my friend just came by. Let's talk about that. It is so interesting to be the friend that lives in Hollywood. Uh, just like, I don't really go to Santa Monica or the West Side for no reason. And when I do, I try to like meet up with people over there. It's so interesting being the person in Hollywood where when people are like, I'm in Hollywood, they kind of have some expectation in the back of their mind of like, you meeting up with them. <laughs> and so, yeah, my friend was in Hollywood and he was like, hey, I'm in Hollywood tonight, let's meet up. And I was like, okay, but I have my dog, so I'm not really like probably gonna meet you anywhere. So it's like, oh, okay. So basically you get called at whatever time they're done with the bar that they're at. And, um, it's, it's fun. I like it. My life used to be kind of based around the... Yeah, hit me up when you're around mentality. And it's not so much anymore. And I don't mind it in circumstances like this. And like, friends that I really care about and have known for a long time. But I've, I've put a stop to it for other people. Just because... At some point I realized I had only transient friends. I had only friends that were friends when they were in town or friends when they were around. But it's good to see people every once in a while. And hey, when you're in Hollywood, <laughs> let me know. Because I was just sitting around kind of feeling like I wanted to do something, but I didn't know what. So why not, you know? So it was cool. We hung out for a couple hours and... uh now I'm pretty tired, and I have a photo shoot in the morning. <sighs> so I'll probably go to bed pretty soon here. Where's Peach? Oh man, I just got invited to some after party that goes from an hour ago until sunrise. <laughs> Not my scene anymore, but like, I miss those days when I'd be like, yeah, let's go. I don't care that I have a photo shoot tomorrow. I'll look great anyway. <laughs> that phenomenon only lasts for so long. 
I will say though, my friend tonight was like, you look good. And I was like, okay, thank you. And they were like, no, you look like really full of blood. <laughs> and like, obviously that, that's a, that's a sign of health being full of blood. I mean, that means you're a healthy, alive human being. I just thought it was really funny. <laughs> but yeah, I am healthier than I've been in the past. And it's it's cool to be that person and see people from back when I wasn't that way. Oh man, if only you could have known me then. <sighs> the shit that I got into back when I didn't care about myself. It's probably super entertaining. It certainly was for me, but way not sustainable. If my friend was still here though, I might be like, let's go to the after party. It would be a horrible idea though. I'm really glad my friend left and that's not an option because fuck. I really deep down inside me have a self-sabotaging quality. That would just love to fuck my shit up. I'm taking a headshot for myself tomorrow. That's the photo shoot that I have. Like, if I look fucked up, it doesn't affect anybody except for me. So, I'm just so glad that I'm going to bed. Good night. You make me feel so good.